call the order to meeting of the President and Board of Trustees of McChesney Park, Illinois for Monday, July 21st, 2014. Please stand for invocation led by Pastor James McKay from Firstborn Ministry and Pledge of Allegiance led by Trustee Kate Tammon. Pray together, shall we? Lord, in the precious name of Jesus, we are so thankful for this day that you've given us, this beautiful temperature, this beautiful day that you've given us. I pray that you would, Lord, meet with us tonight, and that your spirit would, Lord, direct and bless this meeting, the trustees as well as the administration. I pray that your blessings would continue upon the village of McChesney Park. For all this, we be praise and glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Will the clerk take a roll call, please? Mayor Bolin. Here. Trustee Snodgrass. Here. Tammon. Here. Kidd. Here. Wilson. Here. Yo. Here. Beck. Here. Clerk is present. The attorney is present. Thank you, Lori. We have a quorum. Next on agenda is approval of minutes from July 7th, 2014 board meeting. I'll entertain a motion to approve. So made. Second. I have a motion and a second. I believe there should be a correction. I was not here at the last board meeting and it said that I was and I left um, and I gave no report. I believe Mr. Beck gave a report. Okay, in your stead, he gave the report? Yeah. Yes. Okay, I'll make sure that uh, correction is made. Thank you. <laughs> is there any other discussion or changes? I see none. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? The minutes have been approved. Next, we have Treasurer Report, uh, Steve Johnson. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. This weekly Treasurer Report reflects what the village received in MFT funds of $45,741.30. The total of all funds this evening is $8,944,080.45. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Steve. I'll entertain a motion to accept the Treasurer's Report. So made. So made. Second. I have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? <clears throat> motion has been accepted. Next we have communications. Lori Mitchell. Thank you, Your Honor. This evening uh, we are pleased to announce the winners of the July Yards of Distinction program. District 1 is the Stiebel residence. 3979 Bower Drive, District 2, the Hemmons Residence, 60, 662 Danica Drive, District 3 is the Sears Residence, 5132 Mins, District 4 is the Donald Resident, Donaldson's Residence, 8007 Scott Lane, District 5 is the Cook Residence at 8108 Shore Drive, District 6 is the Hood Residence, 7312 Mildred Road. And the Business Yard of Distinction is uh, Salon 52, 11218 North 2nd Street. And we congratulate each of these residents for working so hard to keep their yards beautiful. And uh, there were many more as I was going taking pictures. There are many other beautiful yards uh, with all the rain and the cooler weather we've had. It's, uh, it was beautiful in, around McChesney Park this morning. And tonight also we have with us Rebecca Porter from the Friends of McChesney Park uh, who would like to address the board regarding the McChesney Park Family Festival. If you'll step to the podium and um, give your name and address, please. Hello, I'm Rebecca Porter. I live at 7244 Chandon Boulevard. Um, I'm here to let you know about the Chesney Park Family Festival. Uh, it'll be July 26th, this Saturday, um, from 10 a.m. to 9.30 p.m. Um, 
We'll have free entertainment, such as uh, this free admission, it doesn't cost to come in. Um, free children's activities, they'll have bouncy houses and face painting for the kids, it's all free. Um, the Kiwanis will be providing um, pork chop sandwiches. Oh, so good. <laughs> um, there will be other concessions involved. The fire department will come in and do some displays and um, uh, like they do with things that they love. Um, there will be raffles all day long. Um, there's lots of stuff. Um, coffee makers, bicycles, all kinds of stuff. Um, and it will end with a fireworks display. We haven't had fireworks in Chesney Park in a really long time, and that's my personal favorite. So we're looking forward to that on Saturday. It's Saturday between 10 a.m. and 9.30 p.m. Thank you. Are there any questions for the board? Thank you. Thank you. And that's all I have, Your Honor. Thank you, Laura. Uh, next, we have warrants. Uh, Trustee Snodgrass. Thank you, Your Honor. I present warrants in the amount of $375,639.78. Um, they were reviewed, and rec we recommend approval um, from the Administration and Finance Committee. And I move for their passage. Second. I have a motion and a second. Is there any discussions? I see none. Would a clerk take roll call? Trustee Snodgrass. Aye. Tamman. Aye. Kidd. Aye. Wilson. Aye. Yo. Aye. Beck. Aye. Six ayes and no nays. The warrants have been approved. Next we have administrative reports. I'd just like to congratulate again the winners of, of the Yard of Distinction and also those that were qualified to win but didn't make the list this time. Uh, all this is uh, in the process of improving McChesney Park in general. And I would uh, ask that everybody work on their yards. I know mine certainly needs it. And uh, we'll improve uh, McChesney Park one flower at a time and one stone at a time. Uh, I'd also like to congratulate uh, uh, the Friends of McChesney Park for their nonprofit organization and trying to do something in McChesney Park uh, to have events in McChesney Park. And I would encourage uh, or the other organizations to pursue this avenue and do the same. Uh, this is our place uh, where we live and, and most of us work, and uh, we need to bring activities to McChesney Park. So congratulations on the kickoff of making this happen for 2014. Next we have Attorney Green. I have no report tonight, Your Honor. Thank you. Thank you, Attorney Green. Next, we have uh, Village uh, Engineer Chris Dopkins. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, update on the projects that are going on in the village. On uh, Illinois 173, Forest Hills Road is closed this week for the purposes of installing a box culvert immediately north of uh, 173. Uh, the entrance to uh, Menards and Walgreens and Panda Express just north of 173 can be accessed from 173. Uh, the closure actually starts just north of there. Um, likewise, the bank is still accessible via Hutchins Road. Uh, if everything goes as planned, uh, we should have Forest Hills open by the end of the week. Kimber Drive and uh, the Menards right in, right out are continuing to receive pavement. Uh, the Menards right in, right out is nearly complete. Uh, the contractor has been working on stoning the main line, and uh, at this time, uh, the first main line pavement is scheduled to go in next week. Unfortunately, Friday night we had an issue out there with uh, some of the barrier wall. Uh, that's uh, the, the concrete jersey barrier that everybody sees out there. Uh, some of that unfortunately collapsed, and uh, thankfully nobody was hurt. Uh, that's the big thing. Uh, but it's going to have some impacts on the staging of the project and the way the traffic control is, is uh, going to be uh, implemented on the project. And we continue to work with IDOT and the contractor to determine just exactly what those impacts are, and hopefully it'll tell you more at the next board meeting. Uh, Colonial Ramona, materials and equipment uh, are made it to the site. The contractor did some exploratory digging to confirm water main depths today. Uh, they'll start on storm sewer installation here this week on Ramona. Uh, once they cross third on Ramona, they'll start installing uh, storm sewer on Colonial. So we are staggered a block there so that access is uh, still easy for all the residents through construction. Uh, this first run of storm sewer on both projects is rather deep. It's going to take us a little while to get those in. We are going to be disturbing water services and sewer services. The affected residents have been given notices uh, indicating that, that uh, they won't have water sewer service for a certain amount of time this week. 
On Queen Oaks, uh, the Rock River Water Reclamation District's contractor is back on site uh, after three weeks of being off site due to flooding from the river. Um, they are just able to keep up with their dewatering operations. Uh, the bottom of the trench is still a little bit more wet than we like to see, but uh, they are moving. Um, our contractor is looking to take the site on or about August 1st. So we're going to have a situation for probably three weeks or so where we're going to have two contractors working on site and things are going to be a little bit tighter than we'd like to see, but uh, I think we can, we can make it work. And then finally on a resurfacing project, uh, Velocity Drive is set for paving on uh, the 28th, a week from today. Uh, the contractors started work up in Timberline uh, Hollow and Saddle Ridge subdivisions. Uh, they've been doing curb removals and uh, we'll be pouring back our first curb tomorrow. Um, as I mentioned before, in Timberline Hollow and Silo Ridge, we kind of have three things going on that are both pretty large scale. We've got to put in about 29,000 uh, square yards of pavement fabric. We're doing another 29,000 square yards of, of heater scarification, and we've got about 10,000 tons of asphalt to go to. <coughs> there. So we want those things to happen pretty close together. We've been uh, working with schedules with both contractors. It looks like the week of August 11th, uh, the work is going to happen up in Timberline Hollow and Silo Ridge where we're starting to do all that. Um, the contractors also had a little bit of a change. Uh, as you recall, we have some streets that we're sort of waiting on the Rock River Water Reclamation District to, to finalize a sewer project in the train trail area. Um, they uh, were holding the resident meeting, I think, on August 5th. Uh, the contractor, however, would like to get the rest of the roads done as much as possible prior to. So uh, they are looking for, to start milling perhaps the end of this week and the beginning of next week and, and implement paving operations probably the week thereafter. Uh, so we'll be working to get the notices out to the affected residents. And that's all I have this evening, Your Honor. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. Uh, next, we have Public Safety Coordinator Rocco Wagner. Thank you, Your Honor. From the period of July 4th through the 17th, the Sheriff's Department responded to 735 calls for service, made 147 arrests, which included five DUIs and uh, 50 criminal arrests. And that's all I have, sir. Thank you, Rocco. Next, we have committee and trustee reports. Do we have any reports this evening? Trustee Snodgrass. Thank you, Your Honor. The admi administration, <laughs> wow. The administration and finance committee met this evening and we are moving forward four resolutions and one ordinance to the August 4th board meeting. Thank you, Trustee Snodgrass. Trustee Wilson. The Public Improvement and Safety Committee met tonight. We'll be moving one resolution forward to the August 4th board. Um, also, where these two events I'm going to talk about weren't in McChesney Park, a lot of our residents attended. Um, number one was Alpine Kiwanis Broad Days, and that was at the Schnooks that have course is Loves Park, but District 4 kind of butts up right next to it. They raised $70,000 in two days for the community that will go back into the area, which is great. Uh, another event over at the Venetian Club was the Autism Car Show, and Trustee Beck was part of that. There were a lot of McChesney Park folks there, too. Uh, we doubled the amount of cars in the second year running. I think there were 378 cars and just under $10,000 raid for uh, autism here in the area. So two great events where they weren't McChesney Park. They happened and a lot of our residents were there and, and those are monies that will be raised for the area. And I know this is coming up, but Bob Prosser is back there for Chop House. And the single number one call that I've had since being a trustee is you're opening the Chop House up at Hawksview, so we're excited to have you here. We really can't wait for that partnership. It's going to be great for the area. Thank you, Trustee Wilson. Are there any more reports? Trustee Beck. Well, just uh, not only about an hour or so ago, we were able to uh, tour the practice velocity facility and I, I was awed at what they've done over there. It's very, very high tech uh, facility and they've put a lot of thought into their building. So we're glad to have practice velocity in their community. Thank you. Thank I'm you, gonna Trump. double dip if I can, I'm sorry. Um, I also had a chance to fly last week and I flew over 173 and looked at the construction. And when you see our village from above, it's amazing the growth that's taking place here. And when you kind of swoop down and you look at all the laughing kids in the neighborhoods and it's just, it's a totally different perspective and it really made me feel good about where the village is headed. Thank you, Trustee Beck and Trustee Wilson. Are there any other co uh, committee reports? I see none. The next item for consideration is the consent agenda. Are there any items that a trustee would like removed from the consent agenda to be considered separately? I see none. The consent agenda is accepted. 
I will entertain a motion to approve all items under the consent agenda. So made. Second. I have a motion and a second. Could I have a staff report, please? <clears throat> Thank you, Your Honor. Item A is the first reading of Ordinance 19-14. It's a variance to the front yard setback from 33 feet to 24 feet and also 33 feet to 18 feet at 1327 Catalina Road. Item B is Resolution 45-R14, authorization to purchase 16 Motorola portable radios for use by the McChesney Park Sheriff's deputies. Item C is Resolution 46-R14, authorization to enter into an intergovernmental agreement with RMTD for fixed route and paratransit services. Item D is Resolution 47-R14. This is the final plat for Windridge, plat 8. Item E is Resolution 48-R14, final plat, easement and vacation of plat, I'm sorry, easement and vacation plats for Meyer, Route 173. And item F, Resolution 50-R14, this is a redevelopment agreement between the village and Cars R Us Auto Repair Shop. Item G, Resolution 51-R14, issuance of a Class R and Class P liquor licenses for the establishment known as Prosser's Chop House, 11189 Forest Hills Road. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Tim. Is there any discussion? I see none. Would a clerk take roll call, please? Trustee Tammon. Aye. Kidd. Aye. Wilson. Aye. Yo. Aye. Beck. Aye. Snodgrass. Aye. Mayor Bolin. Aye. Seven ayes, no nays. All items under consent agenda is approved. Next, we have public comment. Do we have anyone who wishes to address? I see none. I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So made. Second. I have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any nays? We are adjourned.